Welcome to Daniel Reviews. I'm Daniel Goodwin, and today we are talking about another <laughs> variation of powering your Delta Pro from an external battery bank using uh, two power supplies to kind of increase the amount of uh, wattage or power into your Delta Pro. Okay, I know I've done a lot on, on this whole series of powering the Delta Pro from an external battery bank, and I've shown just about every variation you can probably think of, um, but one of the things that is required in order to do it successfully is uh, a switching power supply, switching from AC to DC. And the reason that's important is because if you're using an external controller, um, the AC output is how, uh, <laughs> the important part of that is that the controller knows to shut off the AC output from the battery when it reads the battery is low. Well, if you're just doing a DC to DC connection into the EcoFlow, uh, Delta Pro, it would not know to shut that off and you would drain your external battery bank down so low that uh, it probably would not successfully start recharging the next day when you have solar panel uh, availability. So the AC to DC uh, switching power supply is about the best way that I've found to power your Delta Pro from an external battery bank. The problem is this. It's very hard to find the right sized power supply that has the right combination of uh, voltage that's within the Delta Pro's uh, requirements and the amount of amperage or, or total watts into the Delta Pro. I found one that works pretty well, a 1500 watt model that I shared in a previous video. I still have the link for it and that's worked pretty well for me. Um, but it's, it's 1500 watts which means it doesn't fully max out the input of the Delta Pro plus if you want to extend the life of the power supply, you're probably probably wise to back off the voltage a little bit so that you're really getting more like 1300 watts instead of 1500 watts. So that has a long lifespan. So <laughs> it's a good model. It's not a perfect fit, but it's a good fit. And then if you want something more like a, uh, you know, say a 2000 watt model, that's more likely going to hit that 1600 watts then your, your options are pretty limited. You're either going to have to order from like AliExpress from China and wait a month, two months as it comes to you and then you're not sure if, what you're getting, whether it's going to work, whether it's going to work long term. Um, so it's a little more risky. Or even if you order from Amazon, if you can find a 2000 watt model at the right voltage, right amperage, uh, you're still going to have a long lengthy delivery time because it's likely still shipping from China and you're going to pay a significant premium for it. So what can you do? Well, wouldn't you know there's an alternative. I didn't know this, I just kind of stumbled across this and I uh, thought, well, I'm gonna try this out and knock on wood, so far it has worked out. You can actually put two power supplies in series so that you increase the voltage going into your Delta Pro. How cool is that? With two power supplies in series, you're increasing the voltage to double whatever it is. In my case, I got uh, a 48 volt um, power supply, two of them, and ran them in series. And now I'm getting 96 volts out of them at, I don't remember what the amperage, but what the Delta Pro draws is approximately 15 amps, which means I'm getting 1450 watts into the Delta Pro. Awesome. Here are my two switching supplies that are running one of my Delta Pros. You can see they're both um, 48 volt, uh, 1000 watt power supplies uh, with 20.8 amps um, current available and they're wired in series so that the Delta Pro can get their combined um, voltage which is about approximately 96 volts. I can't show this because, the, uh, because it's drawing from a couple of the extra batteries that are connected to this so it looks like it's got an input of 2000 that's that's because it's also tapping um, about 500 watts from the two extra batteries. But it does uh, feed into this Delta Pro at about 1470, I think, watts, which is really good, really good, actually, for 248 uh, volt power supplies. All right. So that's pretty cool. I will say there is virtually no practical guides that I could find on the Internet uh, how to wire these things in series. So I'll probably do a separate video um, outlining exactly how I wired them in series that successfully. 
because everything I find online is like, oh yeah, you can wire them in series. And then they have like a little diagram of how to do it, but no actual like actual power supplies wired where you can see it. And I, I, I found it a little confusing and um, it was not intuitive. So I also want to throw a shout out to Habib on YouTube. I found his videos where he was wiring some power supplies first in parallel. Then I found a, uh, one in series, which was really helpful. Um, got me on the right track and I was able to take it from there. So I'll have a link to his YouTube channel in case you want to, uh, you know, glean from his, his wisdom. So should you do this? Well, I, I got to be honest. I don't know how long or how reliable this is going to be. Um, it has worked for about a week for me, those two power supplies. And um, so far, so good. I'm going to continue to run them in series for as long as I can and see how it goes. Because in theory, this is a much more affordable way to get the power supplies you need. The two of those together, they were like $35 each. So 70 bucks, it's cheaper than some of the other options I've, I've seen and used before. And they, uh, it actually uh, inputs more power into the Delta Pro than some of the other options. So lots of things to like about it, but I just don't know what the reliability is. And, um, you know, so I'm going to just have to run it for a lot longer. So I'll try to give an update on that after some time has elapsed. But so far, it's working well. And um, I'll probably continue to use it. 